Hey y'all, happy Valentine's Day and welcome to my kitchen. I was born and raised in the South, in the city. And now I live in the Midwest on a farm and I love it. Other things I love are Jesus, my family and everything food. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. Do y'all love Valentine's Day as much as I do? I love Valentine's Day. I love hearts, I love red, I love pink. I love all of it. I love flowers, I love candy. So for this Valentine's episode, we're gonna make Valentine's brownies. Let me show you what you'll need. Butter, sugar, eggs, cocoa powder, baking powder, vanilla, flour, chocolate chips, cream cheese, peanut butter, and milk. Hey y'all, do you love Valentine's Day? My sister Hadu celebrates every day of Valentine's Day and her sweet husband Lamar brings her stuff every day and she does stuff every day for him. She should document it. It's kind of amazing and so inspiring. I want to be like that. When the girls were home, I loved setting out the Valentine's table in the morning and putting different things at each of their places. It was so much fun. So I'm definitely going to put some of those pictures on at the end for y'all to see. Overkill? Maybe. Not that you have to love them with lots of candy and little treats and decorations. And it's so much fun. There's so many ideas out there. You can do things out of paper, and you can do homemade wonderful things. You can buy things if you don't have time. There's so many choices, and it's so much fun. We're gonna start off melting our two sticks of butter in our trusty microwavable bowl from Russell from college. Hudson and Henning, hi! Aunt Marcy loves you, mwah! By the way, I painted my nails red. I have not painted my nails red in years, but I always just do white on the ends. But why not? It's Valentine's! Now that my butter is melted, I'm going to add two cups of sugar, of course using my heart Valentine cup. Oh, that smells so good. Wait, this is almond. <laughs> now I'm gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla. We need lots of vanilla for Valentine's brownies. It smells so good. That was a good two. Next, we're gonna mix this up a little bit, and y'all, look at this cute pink mixer. This is not the one that I did not buy in Dillard's that day. This is one Rick and I were having a date the other night, and we stopped by Hobby Lobby because that's a date. Am I right? And this was like 11 bucks, and I thought, oh, it's so pretty. It makes me so happy. I hope it doesn't break after a few uses. We'll see. It's gonna be worth it. I love this shade of pink. Actually, I love all the shades of pink. It's so cute sitting in the picture. Now we're gonna add three eggs. Two, three. We're gonna mix these up a little bit. I'm gonna add three fourths cup of Hershey's cocoa powder. One half teaspoon baking powder. Then I'm just gonna mix it. It's so much fun to use this pink. <laughs> There's so much chocolate dust everywhere. It's okay. I don't mind a dusting of chocolate everywhere in my kitchen. Then one and a half cups of flour. We're just gonna mix that in there. Isn't it fun to do things for those you love? One of my favorite books as of late is by Gary Thomas. He wrote Sacred Marriage, but it's a book called Cherish. So good. Y'all should get it. If you look up Gary Thomas, I think there's also a little 11-day um, cherish challenge that you can do, which is super fun. This is thick, but it's perfect and it smells so good. This little pink mixer did not do a bad job. Then we're going to stir in one cup of milk chocolate chips. Y'all put in the comments books that you have loved. I love books and I love suggestions. Do y'all see how pretty that is? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to set this aside. In this bowl, you're going to mix some softened cream cheese. I'm going to add half a cup of peanut butter to my cream cheese. One fourth cup sugar. You need one egg for this. <laughs> it's amazing how much cocoa powder got on this after one use. <laughs> I love it. It's okay. This product may not be that well made, but it's super cute. Then I'm gonna mix this. I'd love to know what ideas y'all do for Valentine's for your spouses, your significant others, your families, your 
children, if y'all do anything, if y'all celebrate the whole month. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot you add two tablespoons of milk to this. I hadn't made this in a while and I was trusting my memory. And we'll mix it up some more. Definitely needed those two tablespoons of milk. I won't forget to put that in the recipe. Okay, now comes the fun part. Get out your nine by 13 pan. You're gonna put this in your nine by 13 pan, reserving one cup. Then you're going to put this peanut butter cream cheese layer over that. So just spread this around. Now I'm gonna take spoonfuls of this and just put it on top of the peanut butter cream cheese layer, like so. Now take a sharp knife and just swirl it through. This is the fun part. There's no wrong answer here. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. I just took this out of the oven and it smells so good. Y'all, thanks for cooking with me today and making some Valentine brownies. Have a fabulous week. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I hope you love your people well. I can't wait to love my people. It's the greatest commandment. Don't forget to thank Jesus and enjoy. See you next time.